things in terms of uh, the process, you know, in Blue Lines, it, to me, we were sort of fresh into a room together for sort of six months to come up with a record, because that was the first time we worked together in that way, and this time around, because of the gap between the albums, we actually sort of disappeared for six, you know, six years almost, do you know what I mean, away from each other, it felt like, you know, and then came back together at the last minute with all our ideas, so the approach was totally different, and I think, you know, the album reflects the diversity in our character to me. Mm -hmm. There's always been a lot of big music scene in Bristol, you know, there's always been a lot of bands. It's only recently that, you know, there's been that sort of attention sort of lavished on, on the Bristol sort of world. But it's, it's actually nice that, you know, Bristol is getting that sort of exposure because, you know, it could have easily gone to somewhere like London. the making of this record or did you take some time away as well? No, I'd, um, I, no, I wasn't involved in making the last album really, I was kind of, um, you know, we had our musical differences and uh, at, at that time I, I had a baby as well, well my girlfriend had a baby and, um, you know, I sort of took the decision to sort of stay with her for, for that time. Um, but I was getting, you know, updates of what was going on and stuff like that, so, you know, it was all, it was all good. The main concentrated effort went into this too, you know, digging out like little sketches and remixes and and odd collaborations and film soundtrack stuff which people wouldn't have necessarily heard in the same place and making a, a disc which kind of felt like it was the opposite of this one. So it wasn't really so much an exercise in nostalgia. Stone. We can roll 